Okay, so I got another, I don't know who this company is, but they sell a lot of pixie wigs that are super affordable. Under $30. Um, I don't know if I pick the same style that I already have, but I go through so many pixie wigs. Um, this one looks like it has the same stuff in it as the last box. I can get this thing off. I hate this net. <laughs> it gets stuck in my fingernails and everything. But, let's see. The paddle of recording with one hand getting off this net. Okay, it's stuck on the side. similar to the last one I got. It's got a little bit more curl to it instead of just being straight. All right, let's go try it on. Oh, I forgot to say it does come with a wig cap and I can never have enough of these. So whoever's thinking of this, keeping it simple, affordable, and keeping it simple and affordable for themselves too with the instructions on the back, no pamphlet, no extra fluff to it i don't need all that fluff really um it, it looks nice and that's why people can upcharge as well but this is all i need as long as the wig looks good when i put it on give me something i can use to put the cap put the wig on with like a wig cap or a wig grip yo that's all i need but let me go try this on i'll be back okay so this is my hair i am transitioning to be locked um, they're finally long enough that I can feel comfortable wearing them not that I wasn't but actually yeah <laughs> I wasn't comfortable with them any shorter than this um, but for work I don't like having them pulled too tight because it hurts my scalp um, over the years in the army hat wear has ruined my edges and um, wigs and stuff but yeah so all I do to tuck this under my wig I moisturize like I'm just gonna do some pink wool moisturizer all right so now I got moisturizer all over it I'm going to go behind it with some oil. I like the Cantu oil. I know everybody probably doesn't like Cantu, but mm, it works for me. So now I just pull okay. them back, not tight at all. Just kind of like a loose bun. That's why when you see me in my little wigs, you'll see a hump back here. <laughs> That's why I got to get this checked out. Like I slowly but surely starting to go bald right here in this spot. But don't forget my five head. So yeah, it's, it looks tight, but it's not. It's really loose. All right, got my little pony. Now we're all back. Wig cap. The wig grips that they sent in the pack is, like I said, I use these things like no other. I prefer, I personally like the darker ones better, like um, like the dark brown ones, because I'm dark brown. Makes sense, right? But just put it on. Oh, 
All right, Ooh. I like to slick back my sideburns with some Cantu Extra Hold um, Stay Gel. This is not for any type of effect or swoop de doos or edges or anything laid. It's just to kind of help mesh my hair line with what's going on with the wig. It's like a straighter texture, so my hair is not straight at all. All right, so now that that's all slick, go in with my wig grip, put that on. It has a little instructions. It's a little dirty because I got makeup on it, but it's fine. Put that on. Not tight, just enough to hold. See how it's already working. It's not going anywhere. I, whoever invented this, mm, thank you. <laughs> now, before I put the wig on, I like to do a little bit to my face prior to. Um, I I like the cover, um, yeah, CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made because I have oily skin, and I also like the ill. I can't say the name, but they match you to the T. If something, if it doesn't come match to the T, they will send you another one that with whatever requirements you need, like a brighter, I don't know, more yellow, more, I don't know. But whatever their formula is, see, it's empty. <laughs> so I gotta order more, but this one's good. My backup is always Cover CoverGirl. I love CoverGirl. They're the only ones I've seen that like have like a black person or people of color constantly in their ads and showcasing their products. Yet I don't, I mean, they're probably not the only people that do it, um, putting people of color in their ads, but they're the ones I noticed. Like the first one that made me buy it was Queen Latifah. Like she is gorgeous. You know, it's the first time I've seen somebody melanated, like, showcased in a big ad like that. So, uh, good on you. I, I really like that. And it made me love their products. It's actually really good products. They actually cater to dark skin. So, or not cater to, but include dark skin, which is... So, I don't know what happened right here, guys. My mic was acting up right here on this... Um this piece but I'm just explaining my daily makeup routine yeah just explaining that my routine is simple and I like to just you know be who I am and advising you to be who you are too some of us are glam goddesses and gods and some of us are just hey I want to look like me still when I'm done putting on something to help my skin look good in pictures and stuff or just out and about but it's just uh, foundation. Well, base, of course, foundation, um, some type of mascara, and something to go on my uh, eyebrows. I'm showing you my primer right there. It was empty. Yeah, I'm not a beauty guru by no means. This is just what I do, and it works for me, you know. This is my face on a daily basis. What is that? Oh, it's a hair from the brush. Okay, so then I do a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna use this camera because I gotta go. I never had long lashes, so, but I've grown to love that. Excuse my nose my crazy face right now and being left handed sucks man everything is two times harder than it looks for everybody else when you're doing it and I have the shortest lashes so it takes a little bit of effort to <laughs> get anything on them 
Yes, something. And the mascara I use is like the anti gravity one. I have several that I like um, for the uh, short on time. I'm supposed to be getting on to work, but uh, I forget the name, but they're pretty good too. I think it's called Thrive. Yeah, they're they're really good, but again, empty. And this is like my two backups. I usually do two coats because I have small lashes or short lashes just to make them pop a little bit more. See? No lashes, two lashes. And I tried the falsies, man. They get so tangled in my eyeballs and they hurt so bad. Yeah, um, I end up I don't really have a lot of lashes. I, I tried the falsies like I was saying, uh, but I, I just can't understand how to put them on. And I'm so grateful for the people who trying to figure it out for me or for people like me. Cause I see all the time the ads with the magnetic things and just simple ways to put them on. And it's just like, I don't get it. And then when I, the one or two times I have gotten them on, I instantly want them off. Like it's, bugs the heck out of my eyes the whole day so okay. i end up taking so them off anyway <laughs> that's my face for the most part a little hack i usually do as well yeah i don't think i have any in this bag hold on never mind i can't find it my um it's like this thing that i use on my eyebrows it's supposed to be the high gray but i think the brush is perfect for just you know darkening my natural brows the way I, I don't like really doing too much with them i don't have a lot so i just leave them where they are and maybe sometimes put a little bit of liner on them but that stuff it gives it a little bit more darkness without it looking like so fake like i'm just going to work and i'm in the army so i really don't need a lot but i like to look I like right. got brows, got a little bit of lash, <laughs> and my face looks good to me. All right, so to the wig. Alrighty, a straight out the pack. I don't do nothing special to it. I, like I lit, like I did with my last one. I probably put some mousse on it or some water, just to make it lay down because it does have a few flyaways. I'm a very simple person. If it works, I wear it. If it doesn't, I probably won't wear it. But if it's quick and easy, because. I don't know. I just like my time. Maybe one day I'll get it, get into be a glam god, but I don't know. I, I, I like to keep it simple. But right, I'm, right now I'm just fixing it to um, ju adjusting the wig to a setting that I like but that's on my head usually, and that's closer to the combs. And you just slide it in behind the fabric all right so Oops. now that i got it adjusted to where i like like i did before put it on like a hat stick it in behind my rig up in the back i pull it forward my head is a medium size head medium to large i think it meant it was medium to small but then my hair started growing out so now it's more on the large side with the fit of any type of cap so my pixie wigs are starting to be really snug on me. Like this is really snug. So if you have a bigger head, you're going to have to really braid that hair down, girl. Or, well, or guy. Actually, let's just use y'all. <laughs> That's my southern dialect. But anywho, ooh, I, ooh, I'm liking it already. Okay, what y'all think? I think I'm just gonna pull it back off of my brows for regulation purposes in the army. Um, I tuck excess hair behind the ears, like this little bit here. I'm not gonna cut it or nothing. I'm just gonna go with it. Maybe when I'm out of the army, I'll do more customization videos and stuff once I learn a bit more about it. But for all these years, this is what I do. And it, it's work, it works for me. If the wig is too complicated for me to put on, I usually pass. 
on the wig. But I love a good, hey, bangs in the front. Anything with bangs on a wig, if you got any kind of face, actually, easy. Easy look. Okay, looking at the cap construction, it's just, you know, you know, this type of wig with the circle closure up top. I like the, I actually like it. It's very similar to my last one, but this one has a little bit more uh, of a wave to it. So that's really cute. Um, it's giving me, what is it? What's that cartoon character? Betty Boop? Giving me Betty Boop vibes. But I know people crack, probably crack on me at work because I'm always wearing these little wigs and I look like something out of like 50s or 60s movies, but I like the look. <laughs> so that's what I go to for work. But put a little mousse on it, keep the flyaways away. Again, my favorite mousse, uh, Mish. Mish, I like that they put the, how they pronounce it right there on the bottle. See that? <laughs> they said, ain't nobody gonna mispronounce our name. Mish, M-E-E-S-H. But anyway, I love this mousse. I gotta order more, I'm almost out. Oh, so good. Oh, on my natural hair, it make my curls pop like with no problem. On the wigs, it helps the flyaways stay down a bit more. I don't, I did have a wax stick, but I don't know where that thing at. And I wasn't gonna buy another one because it's waxy. I didn't like it too much. But, anywho, Mish, that's my favorite mousse. And I gotta, can't get some more to remind myself. All right, and I love my right side parts. I'm not doing anything special to it. Pretty much like the other one. If I was going out, I'd probably leave the curly uh, situations in it, but this is what. All right. I do love, like I said, I, I love a right side part. Um, give it a little texture across the top. Oh, look at that. I swear my side view be like on point. The side is okay. Front, eh. <laughs> but, yeah, this is really cute. I'm looking in the mirror behind the camera. Um, I feel like this piece. I may have to cut that later, but not today. I gotta go. I'm just doing a little something, something, so I can go out the door. Throw on and go. Go get them. I don't know what company that is, but they wigs be cute. Cute little pixie. Some people. Yeah, cute little pixie and put a little mousse on it. And go out the dough. Like, you can probably do a lot more with this, but for work purposes, this is what I like. I look professional. I look cute to me. Um, regardless of if somebody called me a supreme or something, but I like it and I feel good in it. So that's all that matters, right? So that's me kind of reviewing this little wig, showing you kind of like a get ready with me video. Hope y'all liked it. If you did, leave a comment below. Um, subscribe. I'm new to YouTube. Not new, but because I'm constantly on here watching videos, but I'm finally becoming a figure in YouTube, like getting my voice out there, getting my ideas out there, showing, sharing my life experiences. So I know it took 20 years, huh? 20 years in the army. <laughs> All right, I look cute to me. I'm put my little gloss on. Mm. And we done. That's all I do. And then I gotta go, I gotta go to work. Hope y'all have a good day. Remember to take off one day at a time. If you have to, one second at a time, one minute at a time. Um, that's what I do on a daily basis. Um, everybody struggles with something. Me is my own self image. This is why I push self love, self care so hard. That's why I'm pushing 
to get out there and actually be a voice, be out there, get my ideas out there. If you haven't seen my video, um, oh, probably because I haven't made, I haven't done all the edits yet, but I did do another nail video, a short, my Easter inspired nails. But get out there, see you. Oh, and I forgot to say, while you're out there being you, um, there's gonna be some people out there that aren't gonna like what you're doing and gonna try to stop you from doing what you want to do, what you feel you need to do, you know, to make a living or what you have to say to help people. And it, it sucks. I got my first bad comment out of my, what did I upload, like 30 videos? Um, this morning, uh, it was off of my new Easter video, my Easter inspired nails video. And it was like, it's too much going on. They're ugly, this is whack. Look, it hurt, but it's what I wanna do. I think this is good for my business. I wanted to try to build my business, so there you go. So yeah, keep being you. If you got an idea and you think it'll be lucrative, shoot, if it's not like a, a million, dollar com million dollar company, it's something you want to do, it's something that makes you happy, it's something that you love, go, go do it. Don't let nobody else stop you. Get out of your own way. Forget about the haters. Forget about people who aren't going to be vibing with what you're putting out there. <laughs> Everybody's different. And no matter what, there's somebody out there who will vibe with you. Thank you for watching. Be you.